What's up, guys? Showing off this new, uh, this is the first piranha we've done in this kind of style, more of a coming straight at you um, artwork. This is done in brass with a Cerakoted background, then loomed and brushed. This is in one of the <clears throat> I think they call this brass, but it looks bronze to me. Um, Penrai style cases. This has the polished coin bezel and then the distressed case. You've got some little distressing. You can see a little bit here, a little bit here. Like, it's not anything that even comes off. Hey, you got that a little bit. I think if you use like a. Uh, Scotch Bright, some of this stuff would brush off, but I believe how you clean these is uh, some sort of like vinegar mixture or something like that. Because um, I know some of these people that put these around, you know, like eggs or salt water and really patina them. But um, it's a nice. Uh, Brown, you don't normally say nice and brown, but um, this uh, bloomed diver bezel insert this is on a 120 click uh, bezel. Black hand set in there with black loom, milled solid case back. We'll show off the uh, the loom here. There's your loom. Um, NH38 movement. Uh, to wind these, you have to take the pressure off of your crown. At that point, it's in the wind position. And you just wind. You can wind all day if you'd like. It's around a 40 hour power reserve on it. When you're happy with your winding, which you can only do about 30% turns here because. You can only take it from, you can, you can only go so far with this where you're hitting the crown guard. But pull it over one click, and you can now set your time. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 2.09 p.m. 2.09 p.m. When you're good, you'll push this over. That will drop it down, and then keep that pressure against that. I've always referenced on waterproofness. This is solid. Glass is solid. This is just a little lever. There's only so much pressure it can be put against that. And there's only just a little gasket in there. And aside from that, any amount of water pressure would go right in there. I think the Panerai case only has like a three meter reference on theirs. Probably for the same reason. Um, then this has a nice, super thick leather strap from Jonathan Gillespie over at Wristbound. Nice so, little kind of custom, custom-y look to it here. But uh, came out pretty awesome. And then I grabbed the best preview buckle that I had that matched. I need to flatten that down a little bit. The best preview buckle that I had that I thought looked well with it. Good distressing on it as well. And that is the build. Thought it came out pretty awesome. And this is the only dial I have like this. I haven't made more, I just did one. Just to see how it goes. But I thought it came out pretty awesome. As they rebuild, it's going to come with matching beads. So to come in a brown piranha box, we'll come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center. We'll also come with some leather conditioner to keep that strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's not as pliable, apply it on the front and back, let it soak in, remove any excess, and then you're going to have your microfiber to go with your 
watch cleaner. And that is the Piranha. If it's going to you, congrats. You got something pretty kick-ass. Um, if this stays in the mix for too long, I will probably keep it. I'm going to look and see what piranhas I have. I know I have one piranha. And of course I can't find it now that I'm looking. There it is right there. Silver case, green diver insert, green distressed brass piranha. And I only have one. And it is exactly like what's on the box. So if this stays in the mix for too long, that will be my new watch. Because this thing came out awesome. And it looks it looks great. So, But if it is going to you, thank you so much. Um, I always build these unique, so then I would just make myself one. And all these straps are unique as well. No two straps are alike. Um, so regardless... Can't quite make it the same. I can make it pretty close, but I like to keep everybody's stuff unique. But um, that's the build. Thank you so much for your support. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. If you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.